for on the family adventures and today we're still on a Scotland road trip and we're in the town of Oban looking for some seafood guys this has been a wonderful trip we've just been cutting through the highlands here and we're just enjoying our time here in Scotland but let's see if we can find some great fish and chips with beautiful panoramic views of the mountains and the seaside Oban is a wonderful city located in the West Scottish Highlands it's also known as the unofficial capital of the West Highlands with a population of over 8,000 Oban is a wonderful location for people looking for great food and a charming atmosphere we didn't start out our day looking for Oban, but I'm so glad we came across it in our travels. We've been driving across the Highlands all day. It's about 6.30, right at 7 o'clock p.m. and everyone's ready to get something to eat. It's been a beautiful day. We've seen some wonderful sights. That should be in other videos, so check those out as we go along our Scotland road trip. This is our epic road trip. Family of nine including Blair's mom with the twins we have all nine of us out and we're out and about so guys I don't want to hear anything about if you have kids you can't travel you can absolutely travel with kids and a bit more planning but it can be done because we're doing it right now we're a family of nine a really large group but we were able to get seating and I think it's going to be really great. No sitting indoors, booked up. It's again, it's our dinner time. But we're going to the Olive Garden. Not the one you know. This is a different kind of Olive Garden. Olive Garden here in Scotland. So it took a little bit of effort, but we did get everyone seated. We're covering two tables. They worked us in. I appreciate the staff going through the extra effort to get us all seated together. Trey wanted to try some of the mussels. These are local mussels. They should be good and fresh. And then I also ordered a seafood chowder. This, this should be tasty. Spend too much time just getting ready. Let me be honest. I don't know one single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. Let me be real here. When I see you, my heart starts racing. But I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking. We ask that you would bless this food as we receive it for the nourishment of our fathers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So we're just starting our meal and this is absolutely delicious. I have a had it because I wanted to try my fish and chips. Blair has a seafood linguine. Her mom, Priscilla, has salmon over better roasted vegetables. Delicious, guys. I never tried it, but it looks really good. And the kids have haddock and chips. I ordered a uh, seafood linguine. It's great. has lobster and shrimp and salmon and I couldn't have a better dinner right now. For dessert, I ordered tiramisu. Thank you. Wonderful meal. I asked the server how do you say the name, and it's open. I think I've been saying it a little wrong. We have the name, and it's just a great meal, guys. If you're ever in open, stop by the Olive Garden. If you're American, not the one you're thinking of. Just finished a wonderful meal, guys. Now we're spending a little bit of time just walking around Oban and seeing everything that we can see here. Definitely want to spend some time walking around the waterfront. The boats are here. It's about 9 p.m. in the afternoon, evening, and just breezy. Feels great out here. So they have local crab sandwich, hot smoked salmon sandwich, oysters, prawn cocktail, shrimp, squid, and sweet chili. That sounds good. Wilkes, sweet herring. I mean, just everything you want for seafood is right here. In and out of love, never get enough, never seem to get older. 
Things are going right. Yeah. Yeah. What is this? We should be good, but keep out of fires. fires round ourselves. We should be good, but we keep out of fires. Don't you be good, we scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep out of fires. Fires round ourselves. It's deja vu. The UK has some really wonderful seaside towns and resorts and Oban is right there amongst the best, one of the best I've been to and I've been to a few at this point. I really enjoyed the city, I love the atmosphere and the architecture, everything was so clean and beautiful, it was just a great outdoors experience. So it's getting dark, but as we were packing up to leave, we looked up and saw something that looked like a Roman Colosseum. And it's actually a McCaig's Tower. So we're gonna go up and take a look at that. I may have said that name wrong, guys. Correct it down in the comments, but we're gonna take a quick look at it. It looks like a Roman Colosseum from a distance. Let's go get a closer look. Visible from almost any vantage point in Oban, McCaig's Tower sits high upon a hill and overlooks the town. Designed and commissioned by John Stuart McCaig, a fan of Roman and Greek architecture, the tower is based on a Roman Colosseum. Erected between the years 1897 and 1902, the structure is currently listed as a Grade B historic monument. For us, the tower provided a wonderful end of the day excursion. So this is so nice because once you get up here, it's like a coliseum or outer walls. And on the inside, there's a park in here. This is really, really unique. There's benches and you're sitting up over the town open. The views up here have to be beautiful. We haven't even made it all the way in, but guys, this is so impressive and so unique. I don't think I've ever seen anything else quite like this before. Traveling across Scotland has been such a wonderful experience for us. To be able to travel as a large family, everyone all together, just enjoying ourselves, enjoying the locations that we visited. It was such a meaningful time for us together and was such a bonding experience for us with the twins. I like being here with my family and helping my mom get with the babies. Just to be here with my family, my grands, just to explore the country of Scotland. Beautiful, beautiful, love it, love it. We're having a wonderful afternoon. It's late, about 10 o'clock at night, you know, we're in the highlands in the summer, so it's gonna be about 11 or 12 o'clock before it gets dark. We're right off there, right after the summer solstice, so our days are still really long. But we're right here inside of this tower, just in the center, just hanging out as a family, having a good time. We have about a two hour drive back to Glasgow, and we're gonna talk to take off here in a few minutes, but this has been a wonderful day. Open, if you ever get a chance to make it here, kind of West Highlands, this is a beautiful location. Guys, you really should come here at least once in your life. Hey guys, we love going to great places. We love doing it as a family. If you have any questions or comments, drop those down below. And until next time, take care.